too often we think of air as empty space, but compared to a vacuum, air is actually pretty heavy. Wait, what? Air has mass? Yes, it sure does. In this video, we are going to show you three different demonstrations to prove that air actually has heaviness. But before we start, let's go through a few basic concepts that will help us understand better on why air has mass. First, air. What is air? Well, air is actually a mixture of gas. It is composed by 78% of nitrogen, 21% of oxygen, 0.04% of carbon dioxide, less than 0.01% of argon gas and less than 0.01% of other gases. Mind-blowing to know that oxygen is actually not the main component of the atmosphere, huh? Well, though there are so many components in the atmosphere, air only weights 1.3 grams per liter. And as you know, it is colorless, odorless, and tasteless. Bear in mind that air does not equal to gas. Gas is a state of matter which particles have enough energy to move around freely without taking any shape. It is a physical property of substance. And air, as mentioned, is a gaseous mixture. Because we are surrounded by air every day and we are so used to it, we simply ignore the weight of it. So that's why we don't feel it. Okay, so to prove that air has mass, all we need in the first demonstration is a balloon and an electric balance. First, measure the mass of the balloon. It's 3.4 grams. Then, blow in air into the balloon and measure its weight again. It's 3.7 grams now. See? It's a little bit heavier. Question. Did the balloon itself affect the results? You know, plastic has weight too. The answer is no. The plastic balloons are the constant of this experiment. Because the weight of the balloon didn't change throughout the experiment, it simply does not affect the results. Let's go on to the second demonstration. We will need two balloons of equal size, three pieces of strings, two wooden rulers, a pair of scissors, and one table. First, attach a piece of string to each balloon, and attach the other end of each of the strings to the two sides of the ruler. Keep the balloons the same distance from the end of the ruler. Then, tie the third string to the middle of the ruler. Hang it from the edge of a table and adjust the middle string until the ruler is parallel to the floor. Now, the balloon and the ruler forms a lever. We know that the heavier side of the lever will drop towards the ground and the lighter side will go upwards. By puncturing one of the balloons with the pair of scissors, we will release the air inside. Because the balloon is now lighter without air in it, the lever will not balance and the side with the airless balloon should rise up. Let's see if that's what really happened. See, the inflated balloon drops downward because it contains air and is heavier than the airless balloon. We can then infer that, because air has mass, the inflated balloon could then be heavier than the airless balloon. But why? Why air has mass? I can't see anything. How can something that is not visible has mass? In this case, to explain why air has mass, we will have to understand that air is made up of millions of atoms. Atoms are fundamental basics of any elements. There are many different atoms making up different elements on Earth. Because atoms are too small, we cannot see them with our naked eyes. Having a small size does not mean it does not have mass. Atoms have mass too. Different elements have different mass, so not all the particles in the air have the same weight. Let's look at the four main components of air. Nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and argon. Nitrogen gas has an atomic mass of 28.02, oxygen gas 32, carbon dioxide 44, argon gas 39.95. If we calculate the molar mass of air using the given atomic masses and percentages, we will get approximately 28.97 grams per mole. And if we convert 28.97 grams per mole into grams per liter, we will get 1.29 grams per liter, which is approximately 1.3 grams per liter. <sighs> That was a lot of numbers. Though this numerical concept of air has mass seems kind of vague, 
The idea that air has mass actually involves a lot in our daily life. Did you ever wave your hand fast enough in the air? Like this. That you feel that you hit something? That is because you hit air and the heaviness of air creates inertia. Oh, inertia is the resistance of any physical object to change its state of motion. According to Newton's first law, an object will want to remain its state of motion. If it's moving, it would want to remain moving in the same direction and speed. If it's resting, it would want to remain at rest. So since air has mass, a large amount of mass because there is a lot of air, the inertia of air is really great. So when you force the air when you wave, air creates a great inertia and you will feel you hit something. This is the same when you stick your hand out of the car window. So next time you decorate your birthday party with balloons or put your hand out of the car window, think of air has mass. The atoms in the air cause weight and it's all around you. Mr. Raindrop falling away from me now